Okay, so now we are going to hook up the left sonar sensor. So here's what it looks like without the left sonar sensor hooked up, and here's one where it's completed. The left sonar sensor is here, and it's hooked up. Uh, you will need the cable, one of the sonar sensor cables, um, with the black or white housing, a short black wire and a short red wire, and your partially assembled Arduino, or sorry, challenge bot, and then a USB uh, cable for connecting the Arduino to your computer. You will also need your computer with Fritzing and Arduino installed. So first we're gonna look at Fritzing and we're going to open up the left uh, sonar.fzz and you can find that by going to file, open, and then Wherever you downloaded your uh, challenge bot repo, um, go there. And then inside of that, go to build stages and then left B left sonar and then left sonar.fzz. And that'll give you this picture here. I'll bring that a little bit closer. So we're going to look closely at this. Then we're gonna wire it up in the in on the real robot, and then we're gonna use Arduino to make sure that we uh, wired it up correctly. So in here, we can scroll around using the scroll uh, scrolling up, down, left, and right. And then depending on your platform, you can hold down Control or Alt or something, and zoom on different parts. So here we can see that we have red, blue, yellow, black connected to the sonar. Um, this, this part right here, this blue part is the back side of a sonar sensor. Um, so we're going to use the cable and hook it up uh, just like that. So here's the cable and we're gonna have red at the top, then blue, then yellow, then black and hook that in over here in real life to the back uh, while we're looking at the back of the sonar and plug that in. Um, and then on the other side of the, we have yellow and blue going over here to 11 and 12. So yellow is echo and it goes to 11. And blue is trigger and it goes to 12. And then red goes to the power rail on the breadboard. And blue goes, to, or black goes to the blue ground rail on the breadboard. And once we have that plugged in, then we can use, um, so that was on the, this diagram, that was these four wires. And now we need to hook up these two wires. So that's red and red, which goes to the thing, the part labeled five volts on the Arduino and then ground, which goes to the blue rail on the breadboard um, and ground on the Arduino. So over here, what that looks like is, I'm gonna hook up the black wire, um, one side going into the blue rail and the other side going into the ground. And now I'm going to hook up the red wire, which will have one side going into the red rail on the breadboard and the other side going into the uh, pin hole labeled five volts. And then I'm going to hook up the USB cable to the Arduino. And then I'm going to take the other side of the USB cable and go to the back of the computer, wherever the USB port is. And now back on the computer, we'll go to um, the Arduino uh, IDE. And IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. It's just a thing that you can use for writing code. So we'll go to File, Sketchbook, B left sonar, and then inside of here, we can see at the very top of the code, left echo pin 11, left trigger pin 12, and that corresponds with the 11 and 12 on the physical board that we just plugged in. 
Um, and now I will hit the upload button. And down here it says uploading. And then when it's done, it says done uploading. Uh, if you have trouble, then you can check whether you have the right board selected, Arduino Uno. So tools, board, Arduino Uno. And then make sure that you have the right serial port selected. If you have one of them selected and it didn't work, you can try the other ones. So now, uh, now that I've hit the upload button and it says done uploading, I'll go to the serial monitor right there and I can see ping times coming out. And that's good. Um, in addition to the ping times, it's giving an estimated distance. Uh, it converts this time to a distance because sound travels at a fixed speed. And if I move the Arduino, uh, the challenge bot around and move my hand in front, you can see that these numbers go down to about five centimeters. Um, you can also see that the uh, value jumps around quite a lot. Uh, but right now, it's much higher than if I hold my hand here on average. And this is seems pretty noisy, but it's good enough uh, for the things that we do in this class where we have the robot drive around on the table. Um, so that looks like it's pretty successful. Again, short distance, uh, longer distance when I move my hand away. And that's how to connect the left sonar.